dear Santa, how are you? I'm not doing so well. There is this really, really bad man named Ebner Frost who lives up on the hill. He's got these weird people working for him, and I think they're going to do something really bad this Christmas. <laughs> Christmas Santa, but things have been kind of hard for my friends and the people in my town. Mr. Frost and his men have been real bullies to everyone in Lakeville. That's where I live. We used to be a happy town, but now people are moving away because Mr. Frost has been so mean to them. And now he's trying to take our orphanage away from us and nobody can stop him. It might not be much, but it's the only home we know. I know you're really busy this time of year, but I just thought that since you're going to be in the neighborhood anyway, maybe you could stop by a little early this year and help us. If Rudolph or your other reindeer aren't ready, you could take a car or a bike or... Hey, you come back here! Come back here! Hey, come back here! Hey, come back here! I'm afraid that with the way things are going, this might be the last Christmas I spend with my friends. I know it's only a few days until Christmas, but please hurry. Yours truly, Elizabeth Bentley Walsh. P.S. I hope you're really out there, Santa. Never stop to smell the roses. minutes, 23 seconds. Robe. Oh. How'd I do? Oh, oh, really? you're oh, wonderful tremendous. Boy. You're the best. You never put it. I quit. Weasels, if you guys are bucking for a Christmas bonus, forget it. 423? You call that exercise? Better cut down on my cholesterol, Pierre. Yes, sir. Make a note, Chaz. My picture on the can isn't big enough. And have him make me more tan. Yes? Of course, straight away. Your guests have arrived, Jeff. Figures. Business always calls when you're having fun. Hmm. That should be another one of Blake's rules. Make a note, Chaz. Make it rule number... What number are we up to now? 385. Right. Make it 386. Never mix business with pleasure. Ooh, I'm hot today. Better write that one down, Chaz. The rules are important, guys. What would we have without Blake's rules, anyway? 
fun. Chaos, Mr. Thorne. We would have chaos. Pierre, rule number 105. Yes, sir. Never give an inch, especially when you can take one. Franco 91. Never lend a hand. You might need it later. Which reminds me, sir. One of those non-profit organizations called inquiring about a Christmas fundraiser they want to hold here at the mansion. After all, it is Christmas, sir. Haven't you learned anything? If you give them the taste, they want more. If you want to do them a favor, send them some of those carbohydrate bars that aren't selling anyway. And Chaz, don't forget to write it off, sir. Good man, Chaz. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go kick some paintball butt. Still have to get the other team's flag. That about covers it. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Never trust the enemy, Captain. Hey, hey that's not fair! Get him! Oh, oh, Go out of here! Too listen, too quick.
How's it looking out there, huh? Pretty bad? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, no problem. It's no problem. I just ran into okay. a streak of bad luck, that's all. I'll have the money for you today, I promise. Uh... Listen up. I've got 50 bucks for the first elf that brings me Santa Claus. It appears my luck may have just changed. Receive payment from Lenny today or cause mass hemorrhaging. Hi, I'm Dr. Blight, Mr. Frost's personal physician. And Mr. Frost will be with you in just a moment. Comfortable? Get me out of here! Get me down! Anything I can get you? Coffee, tea, aspirin? Good. Enjoy. Hey, where are you going? Let me down! <laughs> Mr. Rapini, I'm Ebner Frost. I'm so glad you could make it. I do hope we can reach an agreement on the sale of your shoe store. I'm not selling my shoe store! Oh, you don't. Come on! Get me out of here! Where are you going? No! Don't leave me! Good job. How unfortunate. Well, since you're going to be hanging around a while, let me introduce you to my staff of scientists. Don't be disturbed by the fact that they've been kicked out of some of the finest universities in the world. They've always just been a little ahead of their time. And the law. Allow me to introduce you to the world-renowned geologist, Mr. Flint. With me. You are going to make such an interesting fossil. Canadian chemist, Mr. Vile. Some find the scent of methane gas offensive. <laughs> but I like to think of it as nature's perfume. <laughs> the electrifyingly beautiful Ms. Watt. <laughs> Oh, spring. I'll give you all a chance to get acquainted. Excuse me, Santa. You haven't seen some uh, crazy guy in army fatigues come through here, have you? Well, no, officer, nothing like that. Well, uh, keep your eyes peeled. And, uh, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Now, we know this Joker is around Idiots. here, so how do we find this guy? Now, we gotta just throw a cover over this thing and smoke him out. Santa, I thought I missed you! Yeah, if you hurry, you still can. Do you have a minute? Fax me, you little brat. That's weird. Th th that's him! Freeze! Let's get him. All right, where'd he go? Up the chimney? I think he's up in the air conditioning ducts. The ducts? Did you see the size of that guy? I think he went underneath the floors. The floor? This is a cement floor, big barn. Oh, and your idea was better. Oh, yeah, sure. Somewhere. Can't just disappear. 
Hey, Hank, how can we be able to see if we lost Santa? Oh. I'm not gonna let this guy get away with Santa fraud. Come on! Morons. Oh, ho! Oh. Another drunk mall Santa. Well, you'll do. <laughs> You're a big one, aren't you? Mr. Uh, Blake Thorne, richest man in dead states. Blake Thorne. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm richer than rich. I'm too rich. Visa, Mastercard, American Express. Ooh, 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 ooh. Merry Christmas to all and to all. Good night. Lenny, how you doing? <laughs> I work here. Doing the old thing, you know. <laughs> you, you okay? I think so. Uh, I was going to, uh... To the North Pole, am I right? You know, the kids are waiting uh, for you. I'll take you there. We better hurry, otherwise you're gonna be really late, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh... You know, I, uh, uh didn't catch your name. You, you okay? <sighs> I really don't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh... Santa! What? You're Santa Claus! Santa! No. Yes! No. Yes! No. Yes! Hello! Look at you! Come here! Come here! Look! Who else would you be, huh? You get a little hat, you get the beard, you get the gloves. <laughs> hey, see, it's Christmas time. Come here to uh, spread a little of that holiday cheer. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I, I mean, sir, we have a lot of work to do. Santa? Are you sure? Hey, who's the one who got hit on the head, huh? Oh. Ooh, ah, sorry about that, Chief. Let's go. I'll explain it to you on the way. Work with me. Here we go. Nice and easy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ah, all right, I got you. There's a <laughs> Losers, Santa. Santa, losers. <laughs> Okay, big guy. Now, you're on. Now, remember to smile, say, ho, 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 a lot. And most importantly, promise them anything. It's showtime. Watch your head low ceiling coming out. They love you. Well, it's about time. Oh, take Santa to his throne. You're on. Good this year? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> and, uh, what's your name, little girl? Susan. And now we're in Magic Mary Canyon House with a swimming pool cars and a horse stable. And a new makeup center, CD Walkman, because my best friend Kathy has one. And a new Barbie doll. And... Smile. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> you are beautiful today, little girl. What can Santa get you for Christmas? 
Oh, golf ball. No. Uh, pocket knife. No. Uh, electric razor. No. Hmm. Smile. to be nice. Anybody want to help Santa clean up? Very, very nice. And he can be very helpful. <laughs> Don't work, boss. I know you had it in your... You know, I was going to help you, but I, uh, you know. Anyway, hey, if you could just come over here for just a minute, there's something I'd like to show you. Mission. They need help, honey. We should go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, uh, we should go there uh, someday. But first, uh, we should go there. We should go right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Absolutely right. The uh, mission could be kind of like your uh, local office. Let, let's get out of here. <laughs> if I'm Santa, where's my sleigh? It's uh, getting new brakes, and Rudolph's got this stomach thing. Uh, I got something better. <laughs> on the Rapini sale, sir. Did you get these disinfected? Do you have any idea how many germs can fester on a piece of paper? <coughs> I have a feeling this Rapini fellow is not going to sell. I'll sell! I'll sell! I'll sell! I'll sell! I'll sell! I knew we could work things out in an amicable manner. Oh, and remember to be out by Christmas. Thank you. Yes. Blight? Oh, our plan 
plans are almost complete. I still have one last headache, the orphanage. Round up the troops and see if we can convince our little friends to adopt a new attitude. <laughs> adopt. That's a good one, sir. <clears throat> I'll just get the spray. You sure the scooters can make it to the orphanage? Good afternoon, Ooh. Leslie. What do you want? Oh, we just dropped by to see how your relocation plans are going. <laughs> Any way we can be of help? You're so full of it. Just leave us alone. Why don't you just disappear forever? We'll be around if you need us. Please, don't hesitate to call me. In your dreams. Come inside, children. Wow. <laughs> what are you staring at? Get back to work. Mr. Uh... uh, I guess you can call me Santa. <laughs> well, the least we can do is offer you dinner. Do you have time? Yeah. Sure. They can't start Christmas without me. <laughs> can they? <laughs> Santa, you saved my life, man. Yeah. Oh, I was a corner, man. Thank you, uh... Elizabeth, I wrote you the letter. I guess you get a lot of letters. Uh, I think so. <gasps> Wait, right there. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to cut Elizabeth some slack. She still believes in that stuff. She also believes in the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. My name is Sarah, and that's Taylor. Hey, kid, how's it going? Lenny's my name. Hello, Santa. I'm Leslie Morgan. I run this place. Or at least I try to, anyway. Yeah. Thank you for what you did. That was a very stupid thing you did out there, Santa. Oh, okay. But I'm glad you did. Hey, if I had been 20 years younger, I'd have done the same myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, look here. Leslie, she may run this place, but I'm the one who keeps it in one piece. Uh, Clayton is the name. Well, thanks, everybody. I'm really glad to be here. I'm really not sure why. But I saw the sign at the mall, and for some reason, I thought I might be needed here. Who were those guys, anyway? The scientists? Oh, they worked for Mr. Frost. He's been clearing out the whole neighborhood, and no one knows why. Now he wants the orphanage. And he'll get it, too. Shut up. He will not. Sounds like a very naughty boy. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> What's the matter, Santa? Don't you like chocolate chip? I don't think so. I mean, are these good for you with all the fat? <laughs> oh, Santa, don't you remember? You love cookies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Mrs. Claus has to hide them from him. Otherwise, he blows up like a blimp. Uh, Boop! <laughs> mm. Here, have some milk. Is this low fat? <laughs> okay, everybody, let's set the table and watch. It's jerk chicken night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody, let's march. Yeah. Jerk chicken let's let's march. Yeah. <laughs> And the guy says, <laughs> and this guy's got a nose ring the size of a donut. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, 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 I'm talking jelly filled here. <laughs> so Santa decides to give them both an aerial tour of the North Pole. <laughs> hey, uh, Santa, uh, do you have a place to stay tonight? Elizabeth, he's not a dog. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> all right, all right. But they're not going to be able to stay for long, Elizabeth. Christmas is only three days away, and Santa's going to be very busy. Yay! Thank you, Leslie! <laughs> yeah, well, we're pretty much closed down anyway. See, uh, we found homes for all of the kids that we could. We're the leftovers. Santa, you take any one of those empty rooms, okay? I think it's time that I put the kids to bed. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for dinner. For <laughs> <laughs> later. Good night, Santa. Come on, Elizabeth. <laughs> Good night. Shana! Yellow! Shana! Big red! Shall we? <laughs> nice jammies. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about the pajamas, Santa, but that's all we had. They're going to patch up your Santa outfit, and they're going to have them both ready by tomorrow. Good night. Don't let the bed bug bite. You look great. You look like a leftover from last year's Christmas play. <laughs> yeah, look at you. You look ridiculous. At least mine doesn't have a tail. Am I a sheep? Am I a bunny? Which one of these two things? Don't worry. You're Santa. Now give it a rest, will you? Thank you. Nighty night. You forgot your, uh, uh, uh... <laughs> you know, you know th th this is a, a very funny story. Santa? Uh, Mrs. Claus says it tickles, so I just wear it for deliveries. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, Santa, look. Meet the front page. 
Yeah, you're quite a hero, Santa. You know, Santa, I can't help thinking I I know you from somewhere. I, I mean, other than the mall. Delicious this way. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you'll have to try it. Oh, that's the end of it. Sorry. Try the crunch berries. They're even better. Fantastic. Guess I'll just recycle this. Recycling, kids. It's just the right thing to do. He's right. to the United Banking System's Prince Secure Teller. For a hundred gazillion dollars, please place your stolen thumbprint on the scanner. help people out as much as I can. Well, thank you. Hey, I'll wash you dry. So, what are you gonna do now? Well, what do you think Santa would do? Well, I think Santa would do nice things, like helping people, spreading Christmas spirit. You know, following all the Santa rules. Santa rules? Of course, you know. Oh, I get it. It's a test. Okay, it's like this. There are things you always do and things you never do. But it's just that some people only follow those rules around Christmas time. You always help someone less fortunate than you. You never turn your back on someone in need. When in doubt, help out. And act the way you do at Christmas all year round. <laughs> Santa rules. I like that. Bye, Santa. Claude's was pretty ripped up. I even made a few improvements. Improvements? Yeah. I gave it a more continental look. Wow. <laughs> I shortened the sleeves for freedom of movement. I gave it a V-neck and a utility belt for Super Santa. Wow. Do you like that? This is great, Sarah. Thanks. Where'd you learn to do this? Mega Man, number 96. Ooh, 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 cool duds, eh? Oh, wait a minute, where my dredge? Keep your pants on, Q-tip. I'm getting there. Jeez. Excuse me. Psst. No problem. I'll get it. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Helen Shue with News 8. We heard that the, uh... Santa with muscles lives here, and we wanted to do a big feature on him. Is he available? Uh, we'll uh, meet you in the courtyard in, uh, in just a moment. <laughs> By the way, uh, how much do we get paid for this? <laughs> Good morning, Lakeville. We've all heard the song, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Well, Santa isn't coming. He's already here at the Lakeville Church of the Light Orphanage. This Santa with muscles not only fought a robbery at the Lakeville Mall yesterday, but he also thwarted vandals here at the mission. Santa Claus, can we have a word, please? We're live on Channel 8. Welcome to Lakeville, Santa. So, tell us, how did you get here? Uh, uh, um, well, uh, rooster. Oh, uh, sleigh? Reindeer. The reindeer brought me here. Of course. But, Santa, you look so much more healthy than you did last year. Tell us, what's your secret? Uh, I love to eat a lot of reindeer meat. Oh. Just kidding, Helen. Um, I just, I try to laugh a lot every day. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. There's a new Santa in town, and I know if you've been naughty or nice, so be nice. 
Santa, thank you very much, but uh, we, we got scheduled to keep it. Gosh, you know how busy we are. Back to you, Helen. Ho, ho, ho! I'm Helen Shue, reporting from Lakeville Orphanage. Now back to you in the studio. Yes. Thank you, Santa, for putting the orphanage on the map. Let me ask you something, Dr. Blight. Does he remind you of anyone? Something about him seems familiar. Of course. I saw him last year at this time. And a year before that. You know what uh -huh. I'm talking about. I just can't put my finger on it yet. But I will. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Thorne, to the United Banking System's Print Secure Teller. Place your thumb on the scanner for fingerprint identification. You betcha. <laughs> oh, Leonard, you are a genius. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is your right thumb. Please place your left thumb on the scanner. <laughs> hey, wait, give me a sec. How you doing? Mr. Frost requests your presence. No problemo. I'll just, uh... Now, let me know. That was good. Into the van, elf boy. Pleasure to see you. Sir. I was just working on repaying that loan. You're making trouble for me, you little worm. Last thing I need is anyone drumming up support for that orphanage. I want that Santa with muscles out of there. Am I coming in clearly? We have a very good connection, sir. I understand every word. No! More! Talk! For one of us in the North Pole. I just want him gone. Dump him. <laughs> well, Mr. C, time for us to push on. What about your scooter? Oh, it's uh, better now. Isn't that the darndest thing? Besides, you can't have you spending all your Christmas cheer in one place. Have to spread it around, you know? <laughs> yeah, how about it? Good, Santa. Attaboy. I'm not leaving. What? They still need me here. I'm dead. song I know it's not the kind of song I'm supposed to sing here but I think my mom sang it to me if I sing it just right I might be able to wake up the fairies in the window fairies Leslie says the church has magic windows people used to come from all over to see them work nobody comes anymore though I used to think that when they lit up, it meant my mom was listening. Does Santa have a mommy and daddy? I must, but I, I don't remember. I don't remember my parents either. Itchy? Why not take it off? You don't mind? Even if you don't have a beard, you'd still be Santa, right? Let's try that song again. Do you know it? Mm. Start me off. I'll always remember the time I spent with, with you. you. November, November, December, December April, April, May, and June. June. You are my angel, angel baby. You're so fine, angel baby. baby. My for all time. time. Santa, could you give me a hand here? Oh, well, that's very funny. Very I got funny. you. Oh, Elizabeth, come help us. We're not going to stop him. I'm proud of you, son. 
You finally made something of yourself after all. <laughs> what happened? What was that? Where did it come from? It's our statue head. Please, don't. They're not after you. Never turn your back on someone in need. A friend of mine once told me that. <laughs> Keep the milk and cookies warm. Christmas, not Halloween. Why don't you go trick or treat somewhere else, Doctor? Certainly, Santa. After you. Shouldn't you be back in the North Pole around now? I strongly suggest that you return to your next of kin. This is my family. Very well. <laughs> oh, what the heck, I'll wait. Patient, Santa Claus. Complaint. Blurry vision. <coughs> Reflexes. You have the keys. Patient suffers from bad tummy aches <coughs> and splitting headaches. <coughs> <coughs> Take one of these in the morning. <laughs> and get plenty of better. Oh, wait a minute. No, I was gonna help you, but the uh, door got stuck. <laughs> wow, the way you do them to live, Bobby, Bobby. Christmas. Don't you have to go back to the North Pole? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to let anyone steal our Christmas. Hey, you guys, where's Taylor? Oh, yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah, Taylor. Taylor! 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 Come on out of there, wherever you are. Taylor! 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 See? How are we supposed to get over this? Fly on one of your reindeer? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Was that necessary? Okay, okay. Sure, let's go. Yeah. Oh, boy. I hope you appreciate the risk I'm taking here. Just remember, when Christmas Day rolls around, I expect a little something extra, Mike. <laughs> Smother me? I have a very delicate metabolism, you know. Uh, ah. Okay. So you can't leave the mansion from time to time. It makes things a lot easier. What about the church? This is naughty. 
He's even worse. That doesn't make it right. I was only trying to be like you, protecting all of us. I did what I had to in self-defense, Taylor. I'm only tough when I have to be. Is that a Santa rule? It's my rule. Come on. Look, something's going on. I'm going to be involved this time. We're here already, so let's at least check it out. Lenny, go with Taylor back to the bikes. I'll take a look. Oh, come on. That's the most sense I heard anybody make all night. Come on, kid. Did I ever tell you about the time Shannon and I fought those two guys at the mall? Forget about them, I need freckle face. Stop. I can't. Stop. Stop. Well, then take it. Let me speak to you. A little thing we call a phobia. Oh, you presume that? No. In your head. In your head. Sir, are you listening to me? Now that I own all of Lake, I can begin excavation immediately. I've been waiting a long time for this. I want what is due me, and I want it now. Yes, but sir, aren't you forgetting one minor detail? I want that orphanage cleared before the last Christmas turkey is sliced. Do you understand me, doctor? Sir, your blood pressure. What's under the orphanage? Uh, water and power lines. Telephone cables? Sure. Rats. Big, ugly rats. The clubhouse. Clubhouse? Oh, the old catacombs underneath the church. Yeah, the kids use it as a clubhouse. And there's a big vault door down there. A vault. Oh, wow. Kids, we're gonna find out the cross going. Clayton, what's in that what vault down there? I don't there? know. I don't think it's been open in all the years I've been here. We know the combination. Well, some of it. How far did you get with the combination? Three numbers. I'll show you.
these are. These are pies that we left to crystals. I read about them in my geology book. They're quartz crystals with natural electricity in them. Vibrations make them put out power. They must be worth millions. Electricity? Taylor, put that down. Okay. Oh! I told you so. Everybody out and watch your feet. You don't want to step on one of those. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. You coming? In a minute. I just want to figure out how I open the vault. <laughs> hey, you're Santa Claus. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Then Dr. Blight was right. Why am I not at the North Pole then? And how do all the kids in the world get their presents tomorrow? I don't think you want to ask too many questions. It only makes trouble. You're not buying the Santa thing, are you? All right. You want the truth? The truth it is. You see this? You're wearing this when I found you. How'd you get blood on you? I don't know. I don't ask. You ask too many questions, maybe you find out you're a wanted uh, criminal or something. Look, I don't have all the answers, but those kids, they need Santa Claus right now. Just be Santa. We'll figure out the rest later, all right? Thanks. Hey, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Just give me a couple more minutes. They're all yours. See you upstairs? Thank you. You got it. <sighs> Yo, this is Lenny. Hello, Lenny. Uh, I'll in the money somehow, Mr. Frost, but please, I don't think it's right. I just, I, I just can't. When I want your opinion, I'll have it surgically removed. Mr. Frost, they're, they're keeping pretty close tabs on me. Then you'll have to be sneaky. You're very good at that. So listen to me, you pollutant. Okay. I believe she's trying to say it's me. What are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> Think you're funny, don't you? You. Where did you? But, but I thought that... You guys okay? Christmas wish Santa. Get out of my life! Oh, 
Oh, the picture's still not big enough. We have a good sleep. What happened? I was hoping you could tell me, sir. A gentleman, waste disposal engineer, in fact, he caught sight of you in his dumpster. And recognizing you from your products, he fetched you back here. Wearing that. I was Santa Claus. Leslie, the kid. Operator, connecting with the Lakeville Orphanage. Hello? Leslie, it's me. Uh, Santa. What do you want? Huh? What do you mean? Are you and the kids okay? I remember Dr. Blight was there, and Elizabeth screamed, and, and I think I fell off the roof. I'm sorry I left you and the kids. You're so smart. Just leave us alone. Why don't you just disappear forever? There's no such thing as Santa. Christmas to all. Gentlemen, bring the children. What do you want with us? With you? Nothing. I want what's in your vault, what's under this whole neighborhood. You just happen to be in the way. Then let us go. 
Who's going to do my mining? Uh, why, you son of a... Uh-uh, uh-uh. There are children present. Children. No. Hello, children. I'd like you to do a favor for your Uncle Ebner. I'd like you to open that vault. We can't. We don't know anything. We're just kids. You help out your Uncle Ebner, and I'll give you some Christmas cookies, candy canes, and plum pudding. Plum pudding. I tried. Prepare them for mining! No! Oh! oh. By the way, Lenny, I want to thank you for letting us in. I'm sure it was quite a sacrifice for you. Lenny, I can't believe you. Take them away. Oh my God. You can't, Benedict Arnold. I, I... I can't believe you, traitor. You can't open it, can't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Pierre. Mon Dieu, I never seen the boss like this. He loves to hit me. Yeah. Shannon, it's Lenny. I... Lenny, how are you? I tried to call, but. He's got his pet scientist everywhere. He's trying to get in the vault, and when he does, he's going to use the kids to mine the, 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 the crystals. I don't know how long it's going to be before... I... Oh, oh, oh. How's my favorite patient? Remind me to prescribe something for that pounding headache you must have after that nasty fall. Remind me to introduce you to my two little friends, lefty and righty. Oh, save it, Santa! These long-distance phone calls from the North Pole must be getting pretty expensive, so I'll be brief. Step one foot onto this property, and I'll use your friends in my next experiment. Until next year, Santa. Gentlemen. We have a mission. Mm-hmm. Tuck in that trowel. Pierre, put a shot on that garlic press. And clean up that lug wrench. Okay. Mount up. All right, man. Let's go spread a little Christmas cheer. Tell Mr. Frost five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize how fast you were going? No, no, no. Tougher. Tougher, tougher. Hey! Turkey breath. Do you realize how fast you were going? The terrorists. We have company, sir. <laughs> Just one? No problem. Hmm. More in the 
unexpected guests? We'll just have to handle it Blake's way. Pierre, the first course, please. Let them try some of Blake's way salad oil. <laughs> no cholesterol, only three calories per serving. And it goes down smooth. <laughs> what the? about some Blake's Way protein powder for our little friends. I was in Desert Storm, you know. I'm bad. I'm a heartbreaker. I'm a troublemaker. Thomas P. Hinckley. Is surrender an option, sir? What do you think, Chaz? Blake's Rule 20, sir, is never surrender. the back entrance. I'm gonna find the children, get the adults upstairs. I'm not. I just thought I was for a while. My name's Blake Thorne. You're not Santa. You're better. <laughs> <laughs> we have an operation to carry out. You guys with me? Yeah! Come on, Where are the others? Science geeks to go upstairs. Okay. Let's try to find them, but let's stay together. Okay. Your weapon, monsieur. <laughs>
Let's go find Lusty. Oh, yeah. Lenny, great to see you. Thanks. No, thank you. Mr. Thorne, it's all there, except for a couple of bucks. Lenny. You're not gonna hug me or nothing, are you? Let's go find Leslie and Clayton. Come on. All right. to do was knock. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, I am now. I'm Blake Thorne. Good to meet you. Let's go. I've got to find the children. Uh, Blake, Blake, I'd like to talk to you a minute. Have a seat. Yeah. Have a seat. Hey, you lied to her. <laughs> Blake Thorne. What's the matter? Blake Tarachevsky doesn't fit on the bottle. How did you? Isn't it coming back to you yet, son? You grew up here. Look. Is that me? There's more. You see the boy sitting right next to you? He was your best friend, Edna Frost. with nincompoops like me. Are you really, Doctor? Well, maybe you can give me some advice. Why, Leslie, you certainly are a different person when you're mm. away from those homeless little losers, aren't you? Mm. Listen, you pig. <laughs> Nobody talks about my kids that way! <laughs> hey, that's not funny! Great job! Now we've got to get out of here. But what about Blake? We're a team. I can't let you do this, Abby. Abby? What's wrong? I haven't heard that since we were kids. 
Blake. Blake Torchevsky. So you're the one who's been causing all my pain. Maybe I have. But I'm going to put a stop to all of this. Oh, you are going to stop me. You got it. I got it! <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! These are good folks, Abby. Leave them alone. You got a problem with me? Let's take it outside. You shut up already! Don't flatter yourself. This is about money! Lots of money! What happened, Abby? You used to be a good kid. Spare me the lecture. While well, you're all spending mommy and daddy's millions! I was running away in this place. I had to cheat and steal to claw my way out of here. Well, you were up in a mansion in a hill. You should go back to your weight room and your tanning bed. Well, you know what? Being Santa opened my eyes. I didn't like what I saw. Frost! <laughs> <laughs> 
ma'am, please. with News 8. Officer, please tell us how you finally apprehended Ebner Frost and his gang. Well, it wasn't easy, Helen. Can I call you Helen? Got one more here. Uh, it took exhaustive uh, Ooh, investigative this reporting. Uh, excuse me, Helen, Helen she was News 8. Can go you away. tell us who did this? Go away. Go away. I just want to ask a few questions, sir. Go away. Go away. I guess we'll have a chance to defrost himself. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, hi, excuse me, Helen Shu at News 8, but just a couple of questions. Are you in a felony? Mukes, responsible for the explosion earlier. Are you responsible for that? I'm not through with you, Blake. I'm just getting Merry Christmas, Abner! Well, you did an amazing job cleaning all that up, but where are we gonna go now? I think I know a place that's available.